Next on the list, we are talking about 2019's. No, I'm joking. Uh, Jonathan Glazer's The Zone of Interest, um, starring Christian Friedel, Sandra Huller, and Which we just talked about Joanna Johan Johan, Johan. Karthus. This Jonathan Karthus. Um, Five nominations, uh, Best Picture, Best Directing, Best Adapted Screenplay, Best, best sound. sound, and Best International Feature Film. Best It'll sound. probably get International Feature Film. Mm. I think it should also get sound. Yeah, Best Sound. Mm. Just for the subtlety and makes you think. That's what they had me. No, no, it, like, it really, there, there's so a, much. Yeah. But, um, okay, a, a quick recap of the film, yeah, yeah. unless you want to take it no, over. Good. Um, Imagine this is your house and his wall. <laughs> Behind it, it's the worst place ever. I just play. Go no, for it. No, it's 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 okay. uh, yeah, I mean, you you summarized it pretty well. Basically, it's talking about. <laughs> I summarized it for my mom. <laughs> really? <laughs> this is a normal house, but behind that wall, it's crazy. <laughs> it, it's it's really fucked up. Yeah, yeah. this shit um, right here. <laughs> this shit right called here? death. It's called death. <laughs> um, it is about a family. A Nazi family, mm -hmm. right, a right. very nice Nazi family. <laughs> that um, whoa, whoa, wha, whoa, 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 whoa. it's weird because that's the way it wants to portray itself. Right. Um, yeah. But it's it's about a, a Nazi family uh, during the time of you know the the, it's, the height, height of the Holocaust. It's 1939, I think. The yeah, 43. 43. 43. Okay. Yeah, the height of the height Holocaust. Of, height of the Nazi era, um, and. This family lives right next to Auschwitz. Mm -hmm. And I mean, not not like down the street, nope. not like a couple of miles away. <laughs> they could throw a rock and probably hit somebody who's in Auschwitz right now. Yeah. Like, poor, th it's poor, poor the other of side of their wall. Um, it's this film that explores uh, one of the generals who... Um, he loves his life. High-ranking officer. High-ranking high officer who loves his life and his family lives very nice they can have parties and they they live well and um then he gets a call saying that they want to move him and it kind of throws their life into a little bit of disarray but um he's able to pick back up and at the very end of the film gets a call hey i just heard that i'm going to get a promotion and i'll be able to go back over so we can continue living our wonderful life for years to come and uh didn't he ask for a once no. he saw the thing on the river? No, no, no. He he wanted to. They they basically were treated like um like a like just a, traveling salesmen or something, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, no, no, yeah, but like branch like branch managers or like um, yeah, you know. They they were treated like high class society that you know people would even come over just to wish him a happy birthday, and they yeah. had this beautiful backyard garden, and uh, everybody had their own room, and it was it was very very nice. But it's all built off of the fact that they're <laughs> perpetuating the suffering of the Jewish people. Yeah. And the Holocaust. Uh, super, like, just in the sentence and just in thinking about what that film or what image they're depicting. Right. Yeah. That's kind of all you need for this film. Yeah, like, really? like, really, if uh, you told anybody, like, can you imagine that there was families that lived literally next door? And you saw and there was full on residential neighborhoods. That right? <laughs> fucked up the whole film. No, and that was that's kind of like all you need uh, mm -hmm. th mm -hmm. just for people to like think about it. Yeah. Um, the only thing is, and I think we can all agree. You don't know what you're supposed to do with the <laughs> what is it? one hour 40 that they give you a film um, because it's like, okay, after the first while you're like, oh shit, I get it. And then they have this weird half act break where they show flowers and the flowers fade to red. Oh, the opening yeah, of this film is super odd where you're just hearing this large sound. Oh yeah. All black. Um, of suffering probably of suffering, but it's orchestral. It's uh, okay. Um, let's do a quick fire rating so that we can talk about it more. Man, I don't um, know. Carlos. Why me? Because, uh, you're going to have the most accurate rating. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting at about a seven for this picture. And the a only seven. reason, the only reason the good's that high is because the concept is extremely strong. It's, ex but it's that's ex it. 
Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. Would have been a great it's, short. It's, it, it's a yeah, it's a very ineffective film. There's um, no, it's, no it's, it's like you know what uh, establishing shots are. It's a, f it's a, f it's the whole film is composed of establishing shots. Yeah, why did they have to do it like uh, him walking in the door and then walking out the door and then him walking? It's that was annoying. You me. know what it is? It's filming is that in space. Where, but it's it's meant to be these static shots that make you feel like I'm just, uh, I guess, kind of a fly on the wall, viewing this happening. Like what those steps are for sure. There's more but, effective but, ways but to do it. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it. There's more effective ways to do it. It felt like. They had a genius, genius idea of next door neighbors to the Holocaust because of their high powered status in society, right? in current society, right? And well, they just, they just shat the bed, man. I think they could have been extremely more effective with this picture. They would have taken their time with it a little more. I think the only kind of impactful scene is the kid. Huh? The kid. When. When he's kind of like playing with the dice and then he's like, I kind of want to look outside the window. Uh, no, yeah. no. I think the only impactful like, scene in this movie is the scene where they go out on a little boat trip and then the runoff from the uh, oh, Auschwitz cool. yeah. starts flowing in. And then they have to basically swim in the, the product of their own creation. Like no, I, I agree he, with God. So the kid when he's playing in the room and like he's hearing noises and he goes to the window and he's yeah. like, yeah, I'm never doing that again. Similar to the Did mom. he say that? Yeah. What? Yeah. I don't remember that part. Yeah, yeah, he's the mom talking as to well. himself. Also, yeah. like very impactful, very weird execution. But that's also a really good one. But very impactful is the little girl, you know, sitting, setting apples and pears and uh, yeah, oh, the cutaways, yeah. the nighttime cutaways. Yeah, yeah and then oh, uh, um, him reading the the the, the, the story, the night night story. Yeah. yeah. Um, I thought like the ending was so so trivial, man. Like. Okay, cool. You're showing us the Holocaust Museum or Auschwitz Museum yeah, in real and time. Yeah, yeah. For what? I mean, yeah, I know I for it, what, but I didn't need 10 minutes of it. Yeah. yeah like, did he realize that this is history? He's part this, of history right now? Or I don't know. If they made this yeah. a, a bad uh, history, like, let's say a, a 30 minute short. No, not even. I think if you'd made this, like, let's say a 12 minute short. But reserve the last three minutes for the actual like Holocaust Museum and end Those, there and, and end there, you're fine. Yeah, because yeah. I think I think with this film it gave you every it gave you all the textural elements. Mm. Yeah, but then there's no emotion that you're driven towards. It's I mean, very cool as a filmmaker, you know. Jonathan Glazer got to say, "Oh, we shot." At Auschwitz, oh, and yeah. we oh, built the set the next door. Like, we were like asking, was that green screen? No, no. That? They, they, no, shot they built, built the, set the set right, right next to it. Natural mm -hmm. lighting, even natural, natural lighting, lighting for the fact that they had to use like night vision, uh, you know. Yeah, man. I also think it was a gross, uh, <laughs> a gross use of Sandra Hewler. She did nothing in this yeah, film. Yeah, I remember you guys were saying that. Uh, and nobody really she did, did nothing other than to show the racism, you know, and to show how she treats her servants. and When when she's with her mom. Who cares? Says, I, yeah. I feel like I'm the queen of Auschwitz. Oh, and then she laughs. It's all Who weird. cares? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't no, but like, again, it's, so, just, it's so dry in its execution. So dry. It, it's yeah. so... Um, yeah. and, and again, the, the cinematography it, was The principles to, were great. Yeah. It was meant to be this very, like, this is just what it is. You know, it, it's meant to show you like, like we're not, it's almost like looking uh, through the glass at a museum where you're just seeing a landscape and there's no different perspectives or none. <laughs> or more, more, more specifically, it's like looking through the window of a, of a Nazi family, right? Like we're standing outside their house and looking through their window and see how they live. Yeah. Um, and it's not these, it's not these very um, emotionally motivated compositions nope. in the cinematography. Very, it's just meant to like that's what it is like like or like the portrait at a zoo. It's just the portrait. Yeah, there it is. Uh, you're not gonna get the best angle. You're not gonna get this super like let's let's connect with them. And that's also part of it, right? Yeah. If we if we make the camera too intimate with this family, then it's trying to sympathize with them. Exactly. We're just they're really just leaving this this entire film is just that's what it is. That's yeah. what kind of happened, and that's what the conversation sounded like. Audience. Do take what it you want. It. Yeah, yeah it's it kind of like it. it's if you want to go and you know it was almost like watching a historical document. Yeah, like, it's nothing. It was it was just extremely ineffective for cinema. You yeah. know, I mean, you could have used these cinematic tools to tell a more compelling story. You had all the components, dude. You had a great concept. You had a great storyline, 
you had a great actors you had everything at your disposal and you did something very ineffective I, I even uh, and and you guys can tell me if you didn't see it having much more merit, but uh, there was an Oscar nominated short called uh, mm -hmm. "A Night at the Garden," which talked about. Um, I saw what you were saying. I saw you were saying about seeing the the kind of duality of was this more effective, and to an extent it was, but it was the same the exact exact same thing. Right? No, was, but you know. what I was trying to show is that it accomplished the tone in less time in, in, and in the yeah, in the format. Package, yeah. yeah and in the format um, that, that's a little more straightforward one thing i did like about it was the sound i, I feel like it's up for sound i mean at least the use subtle. of sound but um yeah but, i, I think but it's, I thought it's, it's, do more with it uh, yeah i, I agree i agree like dog or something i had a, a fellow fellow anything. cinephile filmmaker anthony salgado had screened it before i did and he told me he's like oh wait for the sound there's there's like two moments with sound and i there was there was a, but that's yeah no and i mean no. it's enough for you to kind of like oh i get it yeah but yeah. then once you get it yeah i, I was expecting it, it to there's wrap nothing up. different yeah, yeah. yeah. It and was, then you're uh, at the you're at the party and then the party sure has those moments where you're yeah. looking out at the crowd and it's those parallels of like what am i the only one who's given a rating yeah okay you probably do um, that um <laughs> i'll give it a <laughs> 6.8. Mm, 7.3. 7.3. Uh, yeah. I give it like a solid 8. 8? Yeah. yeah. I think the I mean, it gave me something to think about it. When you walked out, the, well, no, walked out of here, I was like, oh, shit, it's... I thought yeah. about it, like, yeah, man. Yeah, like, it's fair. Yeah, yeah it's you know. Right, you and doing? I think the sound was really good, too. Sound? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm done. <laughs> No, that's the score. <laughs> no, I, I, I said 6.8. Oh, okay, okay. It's not contributing a whole lot. I think the reason it's getting even a best picture not is just because of the topic. The yeah, topic's yeah. heavy. heavy. And, 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 and I mean, I think it's almost it's, like... But it is unique. It is original. It is a unique perspective <coughs> on... The trailer had me, dude. I had to yeah, watch this. Great. Yeah, man. Um, I, I also think... It'd be, I haven't seen all the best international feature... Uh, nominees, but between this one and uh, the Society of the Snow, I think Society of the Snow is going to take it. Oh, wow. It's more effective in what it was Anything trying to do. Yeah. Um, Perfect Day, Society of the Snow, Teacher's Lounge, Zone of Interest, and Yo Capitano. I think Society of the Snow was pretty strong, pretty cinematic. Um, not the best thing in the world, but more effective than this, I think. Um, yeah. That might win, um, though. I'm pretty sure Zone of Interest got enough buzz I, I to definitely, people are going to vote for I'll this. say this. You know, based off the premise, knowing what you're going into, this film is not a... Uh, there, there's other films of, like, talking about this era yeah. that are meant to shock you and meant to horrify you mm -hmm. and meant to really dive in and say, like, this is what, you know, the, the horrors of Auschwitz and everything like that are like, and, and this is what we see. It's and this, pretty... And this, it, it's a pretty effective thing in show don't tell, I guess. No, it doesn't show. It's just everything's inferred. You're just hearing the screams. No, but your show don't tell is more like I'm not. Well, going I mean to... the horrors of Auschwitz. Yeah. Whereas a traditional a traditional Holocaust film, you'll see fucking, you'll see the horrors, you'll see the 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 starvation, you'll see the gas chambers. This didn't show any of that. At most, yeah. we heard it. That's what I'm saying. It's not. It's not even a show. Don't tell. There's no showing. It's just all your what your own pre preconceived notions of the, yeah. the situation. If anything, everything that was you know historically. Effective. Yeah. So that's that's why it's like you can watch it, um, form your own opinion. Uh, just know that it's not going to be a a glitz and glamour thing. This is just very much. Um, an experience of a film. Yeah. You're, you're just meant to experience it. The like way, uh, The same way you're meant to experience a Holocaust museum. Yeah. You you're know? just supposed <laughs> to see yeah. and feel Absorb, that. Absorb. Think and, about it. And then you leave. And yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. that's it. <laughs> uh, we've seen other films of this era that I feel more impacted by. This is the 30th anniversary of Schindler's List, for example. And, you know, that's I, I did hear extremely that. more effective. So, you know? yeah. <laughs> Done. It's, it's a film. It's a film. It's a film. Good conversation piece, I guess. Of interest. Yeah, put it on the table. Put it on the table. Put it, it's a coffee book of a, of a film. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have this as a coffee book. <laughs> like, hey, have you checked out? The, the, it's just how a do conversation you piece. It's a good little conversation piece. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. That's, that's yeah. a good little conversation piece. But 